Hey yo captains, so I got some fascinating news regarding Emirates. Now the airline earlier on today revealed their annual report on how the airline performed and I was surprised to read that they reached a profit of 1.1 billion dollars. Now that's a staggering considering how some airlines barely even make half of that. Now they also released a full statement of the report but to make it easy for you guys I've summarised the main points in the report but of course you can always visit the actual page yourself. Now the profit of $1.1 billion rose to 67% from last year and the group's revenue reached $27.9 billion which was an increase of 8% over last year's results. Now this great performance was due to a bond that was issued by the government and strong sales in early Easter and end of March. Now the airline's total passenger and cargo capacity crossed the 61 billion mark which makes it the world's largest international carrier. The airline also increased capacity during the year over 2016-17 by 2% and they also received 70 new aircraft comprising of 8 A380s and 9 Boeing 777-300ERs. At the same time, 8 older planes were retired bringing its total fleet count to 268 aircraft. Now we've always known that the airline has one of the youngest fleet in the game. Well, with the retirement and the introduction of new planes, the average fleet age is 5.7 years. Now they've also grown their relations with Fly Dubai and Cargo Lux, which allows them to expand their choices to passengers and cargo customers respectively. They've also received authorization to extend its partnership with Qantas until 2023. Now the total operating costs increased by 7% over 2016-17, and the average price of jet fuel increased by 15% during the financial year. This has had an effect on the airline also, with the airline's fuel bill increasing by 18% to $6.7 billion. For the airline, fuel is now 28% of the operating costs, compared to 25% in 2016-17, and they remain the biggest cost component for the airline. Now throughout the year, they've carried 58.5 million passengers and achieved a seat factor of 78%, which is actually quite impressive. Now we know that they love to buy planes, and uh, where do they get their money from? Well, they get their money from bonds, loans and from the government. They will continue to tap into the Japanese financial market whilst holding relations with financial institutions in China, France, the United Kingdom and Japan. Now, the company raised $1 billion from these sources to purchase planes and the Emirates closed the financial year with cash assets of $5.6 billion. Now, throughout the previous year, they've also introduced new products and service improvements. Now, these improvements include the all-new first-class suite together with refreshed business class and economy class cabins on the 777-300 aircraft. They also have a newer and a wider business class seat with a 222 layout on the 777-200 LR and a refreshed version of the popular onboard lounge on the A380. Now, on the ground, Emirates has added a dedicated lounge in Boston for its premium passengers and the frequent flyers, with refurbished existing lounges in Singapore and Bangkok. And they also completed the $11 billion makeover of its Concourse B lounges in Dubai. They've also invested in technology to offer even better and more personalized customer experience online, as well as its retail and call centers. Now for 2018 and 19, Emirates has announced new routes to London Stansted in the UK, Santiago in Chile, Edinburgh in Scotland, and an additional flight between Dubai and Auckland via Bali, aside from capacity upgrades to existing destinations. So there you go captains, so that was a brief overview of what the report included. Now I know I missed a lot of points but I didn't want the video to become tedious with me just reading out many numbers. Have a look at the two reports for more information if you want to have a read. Thank you so much for watching my captains and I'll check you guys in the next video.